In recent years, we have heard more about fascia in the yoga world. Can you please explain what fascia is and why it is so important? Fascia is a, uh, a tissue, a soft tissue, that covers everything. It, it, it is the tissue that creates form in the body. Um, everything has a wrapping of fascia around it. So the, under the skin, there's a, what's called superficial fascia that wraps around the whole body, contains the fat of the body. Um, around each muscle, there's a layer of fascia. Uh, around each muscle, bundle, there's a layer of fascia. Around each muscle fiber, there's a layer. And cell, there's a layer. So everything is wrapped in fascia. And what fascia does is it creates a container for everything. All the other tissues of the body, the organs, the muscles, the nerves, the bones, everything is held together and formed by fascia. And fascia is also a continuous net that goes from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet through the whole body three-dimensionally. So it's a continuous network. Um, fascia in its natural state is 70% water, and it's, it's resilient, it's flexible and elastic. It stretches and at the same time it gives strength. Um, in its natural state, uh, we, when we're in our natural state, our fascial system is very flexible and fluid and our movements become very, very fluid. And each part of the body, as it moves, reflects through the whole body. It's like a wave that goes through the fascia system and through that fluid system of fascia. Um, fascia is also sensory. So it holds 250 million sensory nerves, more than any others tissue in the body other than the nervous system, obviously, but 250 million nerves, so it's very sensory. So it holds the proprioceptors of the body, which tell us where we are in space and what, how our parts are relating together. Fascia, when it gets held, tightens, and it is the gel or the cement that holds us in a pattern of contraction. And it goes from being 70% fluid, and that fluid is like egg white, yeah? And it, that fluid becomes like uh, glue, and everything gets, starts to get glued together and stuck together. Uh, and that's what happens when fascia is in a holding pattern, which all of us have a fascial holding pattern. That's the work we do, myofascial energetic release releasing the fascia from that holding pattern to a more natural state. Um, fascia is surrounding everything, like I said. It surrounds every cell of the body, and there's something like 60 billion cells or trillion cells in the body, an unbelievable amount. And every cell has a membrane, and that membrane is fascia. So it creates containers, and at the same time, it connects everything. It's also called connective tissue. Um, fascia, again, when it's traumatized, when we're holding, and fascia is very emotional tissue because of all the proprioceptors, yeah, and all of the interoceptors and the, the different nerve receptors that live in the fascia. It is very emotional. It, it generates emotion. It reacts and responds to emotion. So when we hold emotion, we hold our fascial system tight to hold that emotion from emerging, from coming up and being expressed. Uh, so that emotion gets held in the fascial system, but also fascia generates emotion. It generates emotion. It's part of the way in which we generate emotion. This is all very new. It is like new research that is uh, coming out. But that makes sense because when you work, when I work on people's bodies, I'm releasing their fascial system. And old trauma, old memory that gets stuck in the nervous system, gets stuck in the 
tissues of the body start to release. And what tissues are they stuck in? They're stuck mostly in the fascial tissues, which again, you have to remember are uh, sensory. They're, they're highly innervated by, the, by nerves. Uh, so they generate and hold a lot of feelings in you. And uh, a holding pattern, yeah, that people live in, that people come to bodywork sessions with a holding pattern, yeah, it's, is in the fascia, it's in the muscle, it's uh, in the emotional body, it's in the psychological defense pattern. So the fascial holding is one with the emotional holding and with the psychological defense. Um, fascia also is um, in its natural state. It's very, very flexible and strong at the same time. It's quite an amazing tissue in that it has that level of flexibility and strength. And if you dissect a body, I did a fascial dissection a couple of years ago if you, for five days, and if you dissect a body, its fascia is just everywhere. It's totally prevalent. It's everywhere, everything. It's the biggest holistic system in the body. There's three holistic systems. The nervous system, the circulatory system, and the fascial system. But the fascia is bigger because it surrounds everything and connects everything. It's the great connector.